Knoxville, the police community also has their eyes on this story today. For the very first time, the man accused of killing South Corps Police Lieutenant Aaron Allen appeared in court. And we had Rich Van White there in court today as Jason Brown made his first court appearance. So, Rich, are prosecutors considering the death penalty in this case? Most definitely. We learned that today from Prosecutor Terry, Kerry Scott. In fact, Kerry believes it's going to take four to six weeks for his office whether to, to file for a death penalty in this case. They'll look at the law, the evidence, the circumstances of the crime, and of course, consider the wishes of Lieutenant Allen's family. Nine lawmen surrounded Jason Brown on his first of what will likely be many trips to criminal court. Aaron, are you sorry about what happened? Did you kill that police officer? Can I talk about what happened before the crash? Upstairs, spectators, many of them Brown's friends, filled the courtroom. The 28-year-old answered most of the judge's questions with a simple, yes, ma'am. Brown and his attorney accepted the court-entered plea of not guilty to murder and possession of marijuana. Prosecutor Terry Curry attended the five-minute hearing. We work with our police partners every single day, uh, and so this is devastating to our office. Brown is accused of killing Southport Police Lieutenant Aaron Allen, shooting him 11 times as Allen tried to help Brown out of his car. The prosecutor is considering pursuing a death penalty. Viewing these cases as a capital case is, is the single most difficult thing we do in our office. Uh, I assure you of that, and we don't take it lightly. On the surface, the case against Brown appears insurmountable. There were numerous witnesses. He was arrested at the scene. Investigators have the alleged murder weapon. A plea agreement, a sentence of life without parole, according to Curry, are possibilities. Only if uh, there is a defendant who is willing to accept responsibility for the acts that have been alleged and our willingness to enter into whatever agreement uh, will facilitate resolving the case. But obviously that's real premature at this point. At this point, prosecutors are still gathering evidence and building their case against Brown. A trial date set for October is likely to be pushed back. Attorneys will no doubt request more time to prepare their cases. I reached out to Brown's attorney and was not able to reach her for comment. Coming up at 6 o'clock, Andrea, we're going to look at what prosecutors are still looking for and why Brown is being transferred to a state prison. All right, we'll hear that story today at 6 o'clock. Rich Van Wyck reporting live tonight. Thank you.